Hi, my name is Ellie Sutphin. I recently played for NC State Women's Basketball, but I'm currently committing to Davison. I play basketball and I'm a forward. And the reason I chose to play at State was because it fed all my academic um, goals and I was looking to play for an ACC college. Um, but the reason I'm currently going to Davison is it fits me better and I'm excited to get started. Title IX is where women and men get equivalent benefits and they get the same opportunities in sports. And I would describe it as something that just sets guidelines to make sure everybody's getting the equivalent opportunities. So while I was at the NCAA tournament, we had things like meals, swag bags, and a weight room. And after you know people had used their voices on social media, it was brought to everybody's attention that the NCAA did not give the same treatment to women as they did men. Um, for me, I thought the meals was something that caught my attention because you have to fuel your body to play. And whether you're a woman or man, that is something that's essential. I think a swag bag and a weight room are things that are um, tangible and that, hey, yeah, they, they're a need or, or they're a want, but they're not necessarily a need. However, I do think that if you give the men something, you should also provide the women with it. And I think that is something that the NCAA needed to fix. I think to a certain degree, it is a violation of Title IX just because it, I mean, you have two athletes just because their gender is different doesn't mean they deserve different things. I feel like just to make it fair all the way across, just give everybody the same thing and you wouldn't have this issue. So in the NCAA tournament, we made it to the Sweet, sweet 16 where we lost to Indiana. Um, but up to that point, we like had to deal with these certain circumstances and like how I done with it was like, you know, our team pr provided us food and meal forms, so I just ate those, and, like, we ate the food given to us if needed, um, so we had a lot of extra food. Um, the slide bags is just something that is a want. Um, I mean, it's great if you get something, but if not, it's not that big of a deal, and, I mean, overall, like, with the weight room, they ended up bringing us stuff midway through that we could work with. Um, a lot of teams didn't even get to use that stuff because they were out in the first or second rounds, but we got to use it, I think, once or twice, and they really, like, upped their game when they added those, but we had to wait. I think female athletes are treated lesser than male athletes because of attendance and the amount of viewers, and I think recently, like, politics have shown, like, Women want to put their voice out there, but there, I feel like there's a right way to wrong way to do it. And I think they need to do it from the standpoint that, hey, we're here too. We're risking our bodies every day. Not so much about pay, but like we're doing the same type of manual labor. So why can't we get the same benefits? I think one way people could change women's uh, sports compared to men is just like to look at the manual labor at both sides like are women putting in the same amount of practice are they preparing for the games the same way are they watching the same amount of film if that's the case then you need to provide them both with the same benefits because they're both doing the same job so I think instead of looking at it at oh who wins more who has you know maybe not as much attendance or whatever the case may be they're still putting in that amount of hours in my own opinion, I don't think men should be able to enter the draft early because I feel like, yes, people are set for life when they get to the NBA and they make all that money. However, one day the basketball stops bouncing. And so what do you have to fall back on when you leave your education early? Like, do you want to go back to school? Like, I feel like if you haven't finished and you're done, the day basketball stops bouncing for you, you have a fallback option. So I just don't think that should even be an essential. I don't think that should be an option. This is really my first year dealing with like a situation like Title IX. Personally, I don't think I've really been affected by it just because like, you know, I've not been in a financial situation or, you know, just a big stage like that until this year because of Corona reasons. So I think really I've not really experienced it in my career. However, I mean, I think professional athletes go through it every day and if they can deal with it, then we can push through and just find a, um, a remedy or a solution to this.